Good morning. It's like, I don't know, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. I think it's Thursday. I don't know. Um, so I've been working on a clean energy process for quite some time. For it to work, we're going to have to speed up our computers a little bit. Um, and there is actually a thing. There's a, I'm pretty sure she won a Nobel Prize, a gal using, I believe it was xenon gas to uh, slow light down, to actually freeze light. Um, now, if we take that and cool it up just a little bit, and, you know, while the light is traveling, you know, slower than the speed of light, um, and we program that with, you know, the same way, we, zeros and ones, zeros and ones, how we do our computers. And even if we only get a couple, zeros and ones in it, you know, like, um, that would make our computers faster. Now, quantum computing's already real, and between the two, we can make a, we can figure out a way, well, I've already got it figured out in my head, on uh, how to harness clean energy. Now, I know this is weird for some. I mean, I'm just a normal guy. But I mean, I guess I'm not a normal guy. You know, I've given my whole life to, uh, for the past 11 years, I've been working on a clean energy process. And I just dedicated myself to it. Some of the work is peer reviewed, some of it's not. Um, the work that is peer reviewed so happens they forgot to put my name on it. Um, I guess you could call that plagiarism. And yeah, I know some of the videos have got crazy hair. I love my hair. Sorry. I like it. I don't want it straightened. If I wake up with bad head and I walk to the store with crazy hair, oh well. I like it. Call me Kramer. I don't care. Um, you know, I just like my hair. I mean, it's natural. It's the way my hair grows. What do you want me to do? You know, it's kind of hard to keep up with it whenever I'm living outside and stuff. Um, and it's kind of hard for me to want to get a job whenever I've been on my job. My job is something I've dedicated myself to. I decided to uh, figure out a clean energy process, and I have. You know, identifying an energy source for patents is one of the rules in the patent process. And Stephen Hawking explains that string theory, well, he reverse engineered the math to fit the theorem. Um, and yeah, I'm looking down, so my face is kind of fluffy looking. <laughs> I'm actually sitting at my sister's front door. I've been having the weirdest, weirdest time with stuff. You know, my mail got sent here. This is where my EBT card is. I haven't had it in three months. Um, you know, social service has been closed down. There's a lot of people that have been needing help. And the only time our president decided to want to put people back to work was whenever his vacation property was losing money. I find that odd. You know, I do find that very odd. My president's number one job is his people. And clean energy processes, that should be one of his number one priorities. Um, I'm pretty sure he, pro he might know who I am. I mean, I've sent stuff and I put red flags on it intentionally. I was especially rude just to get the attention of the people. Um, now, if he took it personally, he ought to figure out where he's at. You know, like, how am I supposed to get an idea to him? You know, without setting off red flags, stuff like that. Um, and it wasn't to be a jerk, although, hey, if that's what I got to do to get people's attention, that's what I got to do. I mean, it's easy for people to ignore other people. And, uh, well, I've been working on a clean energy process for 11 plus years. You know, I was a single dad when it started. Um, my kids are staying with their mom now. Their life isn't exactly, exactly. Excuse me, exactly. Speaking of exactly, I need to brush my teeth. Um, but I'll probably smoke a cigar first. 
I just pooped outside. It's awesome, huh? But, hey, at least I'm not wasting water. You know, we are dealing with the drought in California, whether anybody's, you know, said anything about it or not. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, my name's Jerry Anthony Witt. I've been working on a clean energy process for 11 plus years. I've written the definition of gravity. Gravity is simple as possible, but not simpler. Tropic derivation of force equals mass times acceleration and circular motion. That's actually my idea. I took it to Fresno State to, uh, you know, have them test it. I didn't have those tools. I did help build the school, though. Um, that actually was part of the math for gravity as simple as possible. Now, somebody came in and tried to correct my math, but they took off, but not simpler. But they left gravity as simple as possible, which was a funny thing. It has to do with white holes and this and that. But, um... You know, I've been working on this for a long time. It would be awesome to get the help I need on it. And if somebody could get Bill Gates in on this, that'd be awesome too. I mean, I think I met him in middle school at Gila Vista Junior High in Yuma, Arizona. You know, like, they brought 12 computers for our city, our little city at the time. We only had two high schools at the time. And uh, me and my brother were a couple of the kids admitted to the class. I'm just not a computer guy. Um, I hope he's okay with that. I mean, I hear his son's really good with computers. He's just not a computer guy. He wanted to cook, um, you know, and I just fell in love with physics, you know, and there's a good reason, you know, like, I don't know. I don't even know if I should say it, but I might've fallen in love with this gal too. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but. I wouldn't mind at least a date. He want these jacked up teeth. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but it is what it is. You know, your heart takes you places, and that's for mine, Drew, and me. So.